Good afternoon from Yami B TV. Wishing you all well. So loads of love as usual. Hoping your weekend is going the best it possibly can so far. I'm feeling a bit better today, slightly, but not fully. But I, I can sense that maybe in a couple of days it might be a bit more different. Still struggling to eat though. It's strange, isn't it? Uh, but I started having dreams and sleeping a bit deeper as well. So there is some some change. But the subject I'm talking about today, because it was asked of me, um, how much money I went through in my life, in my story, in my life, and you know, was it successful? Was it rewarding? Uh, was it worth it? And the reasons why, and the don'ts, and the bees, and all of it combined together, right? It feels like it was all for nothing, honestly, because it felt like more of an adrenaline rush. We know that I was a jewel thief in the beginning, and then a lunatic robber, it's got to be said, and he preyed on uh, the vulnerability of the rich, because you, you know that the chances of success and reward with the items and the money you get is going to be, a bit, chances are going to be a bit more higher than, say, if you get the local, you know, the, the round the corner, the, you know, there was old rules back in the day that you don't shit on your own doorstep uh, or steal off the poor, so we're there to believe, but we know now you're not meant to steal off anyone. But, you know, the, the adrenaline rushing, you know, the, for me, you know, the, the doing of the missions inside jail and outside jail. Uh, because even when I used to get those big items of diamonds and jewellery and some real big, big things, you know. There was a time when uh, that went over made a veil oh, way back in the day, sadly, but I climbed 10 floors there and found three briefcases full of jewellery. I left a high tatchy one behind. I wasn't the brightest criminal. We've got, we've got to have it right. It wasn't like it was all hectic and chaotic and da -da 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 -da, leaving evidence behind. And But I went through, I saw, I saw the things that a lot of people put trust and value in for their lives, materialistic, but leaving that if they're wearing that or wearing that, it means that you're somebody, when in reality, you're not. Because we know that materialistic things, once you get it, you know that the next thing you want is that and that and that. But it's all for show. It doesn't mean nothing to me now. And I don't believe it ever did, apart from when I was younger, when I was wearing like jewellery, you know, to show off and kind of things. But in later life, when I was uh, taking uh, cocaine and things, all I was doing basically was selling everything quickly. Uh, to go and sit down on my own and stare at the door and watch the handle move and be sweating, you know, paranoid with the gun. It never, ever occurred to me that I was wasting my time. It was just like I was just happy to take the consequences with the fast life. But what I'm finding out here, which I never really, I never, I never believed uh, that I would be seeing that a lot of people from that life, 40s and 50s, uh, that have been through the life, of that fast living, fast bar, going out there, treading on people's toes, ruining people's lives, drugs, ladies, uh, all, all the things that you thought that you placed importance of. Most are injured from living that lifestyle. Sadly, I mean, the amount, amount of men and women I'm finding from that life now that are really struggling, never mind me being disabled uh, from my thing uh, in prison, you know, basically dead really you know never to, we know the story there but i also like to remind you all about the big ones the big ones that everybody reads about um say we start with a brink smack you know when you talk about it you know without going into detail because obviously i met met a few heard things 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 some things you just know that you don't know whether it's true or not true but again another big job where it was for big rewards and success and in notoriety to go down in the criminal archives as being somebody that done a big job. But yet, how many dead bodies around that? How many petty squabbles over the sharing of the spoils? And what happened to this bit? What happened to that bit? And people go away and come, you know, it's a very, very serious thing. So there's no winners in that one, specifically, it's got to be said loads and loads of arguments and people that you work together and trusted in that life and everybody falls out in the end uh, because everybody's got their own stuff going on uh, what they believe in their own heads how they how they think everything should go and then you talk about even the Knightsbridge safety deposit thing you remember with Vici suddenly so rest in peace now as soon as he got re repatriated to his country shot you know 
and then other things around it. Another bunched up, but a big, big history criminal story because you're still clouded and surrounded by all the diamonds. Yes, and all money piled up, and you know, everybody's like the thing. But then again, everybody got nicked as well. And then there was a, a, a guy in Swellside who's he, he was the manager, I think, of one of the, the safe deposit things as well. Just a, a, a man who'd just been straight all his life, who got pulled in to certain things. Um, the mix-ups that have come from that. People go missing. You remember some people lose their things and they have them buried in there, but they're not going to be really happy. They could come and hunt you down. And, and it still goes on today because the bigger the stuff, the more people involved, the more people kind of higher up as well, uh, you know, have lost out, you know, because we know that job again has not turned out too well for everybody. And talk about what was the other one again? Um, Hatton Garden, you know, yes, notoriety and the spoils, big, successful. Where then? Some die now. Some, one died in prison, some mix ups, bodge ups along the way, and loads of trouble to go with it. But, you know, if you ask them now if they would do, they probably would have do, did it all over again. I mean, you know, where, where, where is the success and the reward? Because no matter what, every time these cases are mentioned, and remember the safe deposit box thing as well, look at that. Even that ended up bodged up. You could have whatever you would you want a thing. And, you know, look at the mix-ups there and the, the comebacks from that as well. Uh, let's still go on. And I'm trying to find something to tell you where with Uncle Yami's brain from being inside and meeting most of these, mm -mm, it wasn't what I believed uh, when I first, when I, when I started going to the a meeting, uh, those on those bigger cases and things, squabbles, death, uh, greed, people into hiding, people have to hide. Think then if, you, if you, you've done, because I think about some of the things that I've done sometimes, and I have to say that, you know, you, you, the comebacks, <laughs> I mean, there's not going to be a few people, um, there's going to be people unhappy from that life. So where, where do you, if you know, you remember as well, let's get that right, the, 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 not saying anything about... Uh, JP, the one with the time shares, as well as that. All the big things, look at it properly and see, because you learn and you hear, put it all together. You can't get fooled by that lifestyle because all the, all the things from all British history, nothing has ever gone right from those crimes. And I can tell you that firsthand. You got it? I think I'll leave that there. <laughs> yeah. I think, oh, yeah, what I was going to say, yeah, that made of hell. That, that, sorry. That, but I'm just saying, you know, think about it in that real cold light of day. You know, all of those, you end up being stuck. You can't rest in peace, can you? You don't know who, who's, who's going to send who. Because, you know, the bigger the, the game, the more that it's not going to actually... It doesn't have to be them that does it. Anyone could send anyone. It could be 10 years later, 15 years later, 20 years later. And so we found some of them in that life, in that game, you cannot risk in peace because there's a lot of people that lost out as well and a lot of arguments around each other as well. Unhappy criminals. Because it wasn't, they didn't get what everybody thinks they got. Somebody done something somewhere and you know not some of you would be involved in that life would be able to share that as well and I come out and I'm seeing seeing all the kids you know like from making signs with the guns and the game's moved on now now they're telling everyone on social media what they're gonna do and then they, they, when they call everybody's name when they go in there and say yeah yeah but it's because of him because but you, you're the ones that went up there sticking it out and things you talk up for face a very very tough time if you're gonna put your trust in that life, I've got to be got to be honest with you, you're gonna feel the same way as me. And I think that not that um, car might be whatever, but the dirty the deeds, I think the dirty money, it doesn't pan out. Even the selling of 
of, of drugs as well. Look at the things that could go wrong in that game, for goodness sake. I've seen, I'll talk about that in another video as well with some of the big, big cases uh, and mix-ups there where, where there's gear and large amounts involved where people, you know, lay on this and lay on that. I'm going to get round to that. Just an early afternoon one uh, with that to answer that question there. Um, I forgot his name. Yes, went through a lot of money in those short periods in the community, but in the end, there's nothing to show for it. All right, apart from a heavy heart, a sad heart, and a broken heart, and worrying and concern for what I'm seeing out here now. Sending lots of love, I'm coming up in a minute.